The first thing we need to do is to open the voice memos application and you want to click the record button at the bottom of the screen and that's going to automatically start recording your voice and it's going to automatically start transcribing your voice. Now if you want to see the transcription happening in real time, you want to swipe up on the voice recording and then you want to click the speech bubble in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and here you can see a real time representation of the transcription. Now once you're ready to finish the recording, you want to click pause and then you want to click on done in the bottom right hand corner. And here you will see the voice memo has been added to the list. You can rename this voice memo by clicking on the title and you can rename it from here. And you can also play back the voice memo by clicking the play button and scrolling through it. Now if you click on the little audio wave dialog on the left hand side of the voice memo, you're going to get a few options. Now you can preview the voice memo by viewing the wave format or if you select the speech bubble in the bottom left hand corner, you'll be able to see the live transcription of the voice memo and you can tap any word on the transcription to skip to any part of that recording. You can also replace part of the voice memo by clicking on any word in the transcription and clicking on replace at the bottom to record the replace section of the voice memo. Once you are finished, you want to click on done in the bottom right hand corner and your voice memo is ready to store or share. To share the voice memo, you want to click on the three dots to the right of it and then you want to click on share and in the share menu, you can share this to other contacts or devices or you can use this in any other application.